Let's face it, most of the videos we capture are pretty ordinary. Your phone gallery might be filled with videos of your pet, a cute dog you saw on your walk, or maybe the insta-worthy meal you just cooked. But we rarely get to capture something unusual. Cameras are all around us, but it's not every day that we get to film something bizarre, strange, or terrifying. In this video, I'll show you some clips that you don't get to see often. From dangerous visitors to an ant bridge, here are 15 unexplainable mysteries caught on camera. Number 15. Dangerous Visitors How would you like it if you just wanted to go to the comfort room, but instead of an empty bathroom, you see a gigantic lizard instead? Just take a look at these two clips. Both residents were terrified when they suddenly saw Komodo dragons in their comfort rooms. Now I know lizards can be cute, but not these guys. Komodo dragons can reach up to 10 feet in length, and they can weigh more than 300 pounds, making them the heaviest lizards on Earth. They're not really animals one would find cute. They have long flat heads, bowed legs, huge muscular tails, rounded snouts, and most of all, a deadly bite. In a village in Indonesia, it's common to see these deadly lizards. What makes them scary though isn't just their size and appearance. Aside from their muscular bodies, they also have deadly bites. The danger lies not in their bite force, but through the potent venom they deliver with their sharp teeth. This can kill humans within just a few hours. If you survive the venom, then blood loss or infection might get you. After all, these animals are notoriously known for ripping the victim's flesh, causing a gaping wound in a frenzied attack. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Basket Star Feeding They look like ordinary plants, but if you look closely, they're actually animals. This is the Basket Star, also known as Snake Star. These creatures live in the ocean, and they're one of the weirdest creatures you'll ever see. This invertebrate, meaning they don't have a backbone, and I mean that literally, usually comes in the form of a mass of twisting and turning arms that can grow about a meter long. Each branch has tiny, sharp hooks attached to them, which allows the basket star to capture prey. These guys mainly feed on zooplankton, but sometimes they feed on small shellfish, jellyfish, and other tiny critters. What you're looking at right here is a basket star feeding on live prey. It looks kinda creepy because it looks like a killer plant straight out of a horror sci-fi movie. Its arms look like tiny snakes slowly coiling around its prey, killing live animals slowly. These creatures are extraordinary, and it's a good thing that their prey is limited to small animals. Just imagine if these guys could take on bigger prey. It'd be pretty horrifying to watch. Sometimes fishermen accidentally capture one of these creatures, but that's pretty rare considering they like to live from subtidal waters to as deep as 1,200 meters. Number 13. Ghost Dancing on Top of a Tree How would you react if you saw this in person? Imagine you're just walking and suddenly you see a woman on top of a tall tree dancing alone. It's generally believed that ghosts only appear during the night, or at least they're most active during the night or when it's dark. But residents in Ganung Ladang, Malaysia say that the woman dancing on top of this tree is a ghost. The video became viral, and many people believe that this is a phantom dancing on the treetop. It's quite understandable, because dancing on a treetop isn't an easy task for a human to do. However, there are also some people claiming that this woman isn't a ghost, but a real person. The story goes that she climbed the tree to pray, praise, and ask for forgiveness from the gods. Somehow, this woman may have managed to climb what looks to be a tamarind tree that's about 25 to 30 feet high. Because of this amazing feat, some people also thought that perhaps the woman possessed some sort of magic which enabled her to stand on top of the tree branches, dance, and not fall down. However, some people also believe that the tree branches are just incredibly strong, which made it possible for her to dance on the treetop. You can't deny that this is incredibly dangerous, though. I guess anything weird and outlandish can be seen as a paranormal phenomena with ghostly music. Number 12. Moving Doll Do you find dolls creepy? If so, you're definitely not alone. In fact, some people out there are incredibly terrified of them. Why are dolls so creepy? According to scientists, we find dolls creepy because people naturally pay attention to faces. We're wired to determine what's human or not. For instance, Seeing a face-like pattern in a dark room will most likely scare you or alarm you because it looks human. And yet, it's the unknown. 
Dolls are in the gray area where you can recognize their face, but at the same time, you know they're inanimate objects. Looking at them will make you think they'll come to life at any moment, and I guess some dolls really do move on their own. Just take a look at this clip. Here you can see a kid that's playing alone, and beside her is a creepy looking doll. Everything looks normal in the beginning, but soon you'll see the doll move on its own without the girl touching it or being anywhere near it. Afterward, the clip transitions to the girl drawing in the living room, but a few seconds into the video, the paper starts to move without anything prompting it to fly off. The girl ran off in terror, and honestly, I would too. If this happened to me, I would probably throw the doll away and try to move places. I've seen enough horror movies to know where this is going. Or maybe the ghost just wanted to play. Who knows? Number 11. Cheeky Thief What you're looking at is a cute, cheeky little groundhog eating in front of a camera. Now this clip is supposed to be something that no one was supposed to see, because this fella right here actually stole the snack he's currently chomping on. Apparently, this groundhog, or woodchuck, decided to raid a farmer's backyard for some food. At first, the farmer didn't know who the culprit was. He always comes back to his veggies being ransacked by someone, or something, and according to him, it wasn't just some nibbling. Whatever went through his crops had a full-on buffet, and so he was determined to find whatever was causing damage, and he found this. This groundhog was what was eating his veggies, and as if that's not enough, he likes eating the snacks he stole right in front of the farmer's security camera. I don't know about you, but it takes guts to show off your loot right in front of the person you stole it from. I know that most people wouldn't like the idea of being robbed, but I guess most people would deal with it as long as the culprit is as cute as this groundhog. According to the farmer, he was a bit mad because of the damage, but when he saw the clip, he thought it was hilarious how the groundhog even seemed to taunt him about their little crime. And so, he gave a name to the groundhog and decided to call him Chunk. Of course, Chunk didn't stop ransacking the farmer's garden, but instead of being upset, the farmer understood that the groundhogs were just trying to survive. And so, as Chunk and his girlfriend went into hibernation, the farmer began building them their very own garden. This is the type of wholesome story we all love to see. Number 10. Color-Changing Creatures First, they're black, but when they pulled out of the water, they turn transparent. This is a survival strategy used by many cephalopods. What you're looking at is a cuttlefish. The cuttlefish is known for having the ability to rapidly change color to blend into the background and sometimes they also get to be transparent as well. If you're curious, just take a look at this squid. You can see the tiny dots moving rapidly around it as it was pulled out of the water. What's happening here is that the chromatophores in the squid are rapidly changing in color, known as physiological color change or metachrosis. Chromatophores are basically cells that contain pigment and have the ability to reflect light. But you know what's more amazing? Cuttlefish are actually colorblind. That's right, these camouflage masters can't see color. This fact just makes them more amazing, right? Number 9. Ghost Turning on Stove If you try to search on Google, I'm pretty sure there's an article out there that lists signs that your house is haunted. I guess some people out there are wondering whether they're being haunted by ghosts or if they're just overthinking. But certainly the person that posted this video is convinced that their apartment is haunted after seeing this clip. According to the uploader, they set up a camera in their kitchen after repeatedly noticing that their stove kept turning on. They also said that they're beginning to lose sleep due to the risk of fire. All of their attempts to get rid of whatever it was that's trying to turn on the stove failed. My advice is to change apartments, but I guess you have no choice but to endure the haunting if the ghost keeps on haunting you. Number 8. Scorpion Mountain I don't know what's up with this place, but it seems like whatever's buried underneath is attracting a lot of scorpions. Almost everyone would definitely nope it out of this place once they see this. Scorpions are terrifying. These creepy crawlies have a pretty nasty sting. However, some of the fear that surrounds them stems from myths and fictional movies. For example, there are about 40 to 50 species of scorpion found across Arizona, and only the Arizona bark scorpion can induce a pretty severe reaction. All of the other species have a sting that can safely be managed and observed at home. But of course, it's always better to get yourself checked in case you're allergic to their sting. It's also true that it's logical to fear these creatures because their sting lasts about three days. 
and it's pretty annoying to deal with. Number 7. Two-Headed Dolphin This two-headed dolphin was found on a beach in western Turkey, and many were horrified by the sight. It appears that the corpse is a dolphin calf, and according to marine biologists, it's quite rare to see a calf with this appearance. This occurs because of a rare condition known as polycephaly. Poly means many or several, and cephaly means head. This condition is often the result of the incomplete splitting of a fertilized egg. Number 6. Zombie Snail You're probably wondering what this terrifying creature is. This is a snail, or at least this was a snail, until it was infected by a parasitic worm known as leucochloridium. I know it's pretty horrifying to see, but this parasite is just doing what it needs to survive. Although, I think you will fear this creature after knowing that it usually victimizes not only one, but two creatures. The way this worm survives is that it uses snails as intermediate hosts. The snails aren't their prey, but rather just their way to get into a bird's system. This pulsating creature is just the worm in its larval state. At this stage, it would take over the eyes and the head of the snail, and it would try to act like a normal snail until a bird eats them. The poor bird thinks it got a snack, but instead, it just gobbled up a parasite. Once the parasite reaches the stomach of the bird, the larva will fully mature and it will thrive inside the bird's gastrointestinal tract where it will release eggs. After that, the bird will then release the parasitic eggs by excreting them through their droppings. And these eggs will then be eaten by none other than, of course, snails. And with that, the whole cycle repeats. So if you happen to see a weird-looking snail with a pulsating creature inside, it's most likely that it's not a snail anymore, but a zombie. Number 5. Duck Cult Animals are really cute, but sometimes they exhibit some pretty weird behavior that's borderline horrifying. What you're looking at are ducks just trying to express their love for their owner, but they end up looking like they're part of some sort of cult. How would you feel if your cats or dogs just started walking in a circle around you like they're trying to open a portal to another world? But you see, ducks are known to swim in circles. Nobody knows why they do so, but I guess the behavior that we're seeing right now is the result of their love for their human owner. And now it's time for today's topic. Do you believe in zombies and paranormal creatures? A mobile phone captured what no one was supposed to see when someone saw this creature while allegedly exploring an abandoned establishment. I don't know about you, but this guy looks pretty terrifying and I'm 100% sure that this creature isn't a human anymore. With all the events happening around us today, has it ever come to your mind what humanity would do if another pathogen spread? Are we ready for it? What if someday all of our experiments would lead to a gene-edited pathogen that can turn us into zombies? Is it really possible? A zombie apocalypse sounds pretty far-fetched, and it sounds like something that would only happen in the movies. But if you consider everything that has happened recently, I wouldn't be surprised if life throws us another curveball. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Hide and Seek Doll Remember that one moving doll from the clip earlier? Well, I think this doll is much more terrifying. I don't get where some people get their courage interacting with the paranormal and the unknown. This woman was trying out a hide-and-seek doll that she just got. Apparently, she wasn't convinced that they were haunted, and she tried playing with the doll to see if anything would occur. These hide-and-seek dolls are usually propped in a position where they look like they're seekers. They can be propped up against the wall, and they would look like kids counting down and waiting for their playmates to hide. I don't know about you, but this is enough to creep me out. In this video, you'll see some paranormal activity. Let's start out with the doll moving on its own. And a few seconds into the video, you'll also see a weird figure in the mirror while the woman was turned away from her camera. Spooky, right? What's surprising is that even though they're associated with the paranormal, people still try to buy these hide-and-seek dolls. In fact, I'm pretty sure that you can buy them from eBay. There's actually a game associated with these dolls, and it originated in Japan. This game is called Hide and Seek Alone. Basically, it lets you play hide-and-seek with a spirit or a demon by letting it possess a doll. I won't divulge the instructions to you, but I'm pretty sure it's also available online. But I gotta warn you, people say that the game is very dangerous, and it's best not to try it even if you think it's just a hoax. 
It's best not to anger the paranormal, after all. Number 3. Scary Fish First of all, this photo isn't photoshopped or manipulated in any way. The eye of the fish is actually right on top of its head. I know it's pretty creepy, but apparently, this is just a normal condition that some fish experience. It's called the wandering or the migrating eye. This happens mostly on flatfish all throughout the world, but it can also occur to angelfin with and the Pacific halibut. The eye migration usually happens when it's time for the fish to mature. You see, flatfish usually start out looking like regular fish. Their eyes are on each side of their heads, but as they mature, they'll slowly turn flat. Their bones will move and change, and soon enough, they'll look like the flatfish that we know, just like this one. As you can see, their eyes moved along with the movement of their bones. This process is quite terrifying to imagine, but you got to admit that their transformation is pretty cool. And this just makes you think that nature is truly cool for having these creatures. Number 2. Walking on Water Imagine this. You're walking home when you suddenly see a man in red walking on water. Not just any water, but a full-on stretch of river. I know it's quite unbelievable, but just take a look at this video. You can say that it's almost like a miracle for him to be able to do something like this. You can see in the video that the stunned onlookers watched in wonder trying to wrap their heads around the fact that someone is walking on water. We aren't really built to walk on water. So how come this guy managed to do so? Apparently, this video is part of a public act and the guy in red is an illusionist. He might be relatively unknown, but his real name is Steve Frame but he uses the name Dynamo as a magician. It's astounding to see him walk almost half of the River Thames. You might have already seen videos of magicians and illusionists walking on water in swimming pools, but this is a relatively easy trick to pull off. Just get some see-through material like plexiglass and angle your camera on the right side, and voila, you have your miracle. However, it's not easy to pull off a trick in front of hundreds of live viewers just a few meters away from you. The onlookers you see in Dynamo's video standing on Westminster Bridge certainly aren't paid actors. So how did Dynamo do this? We're not really sure, but one viewer explained that perhaps the secret is also in unseen plexiglass underwater. The onlookers might not be paid actors, but the people on the water definitely are. Do you see those boats? The people there weren't really the river police. They were apparently a part of Dynamo's act assisting him. The plexiglass or invisible path ends at some point. So you can see that Dynamo needed to be picked up. Either that, or he became exhausted after using his quote-unquote magic. Check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.